Welcome everybody. It's your boy Nathan here back with another reaction video. Um I'm gonna be quick about it. Uh just I just found out this this uh, this new more movie. I just found out that this new more combat movie is a thing. I've heard rumors about it, but yo, let's go because you know the last two the last two animated movies were, were pretty good. I, I like Scorpion's Revenge, the first one. More Combat Legends Scorpion's Revenge, I think it's called. I watched it so long ago, but that one was good. The Battle of the Realms, second movie, eh, it was okay. You know that old phrase, too many cooks in the kitchen? Yeah, that's how I felt, that's how I felt about it, you know what I mean? Like, y'all, y'all, y'all be doing too much with the story, man. Like, you can't just have every single plot point from all the games in one movie. Like, what, what, what y'all doing? Like, I, I, I don't know, I, the art style is cool, I love the art style, the fights were good. I'll be very short because you know we gotta make time for <laughs> one being. We gotta make time for Sub Zero and Scorpion's story. We gotta make time for all these other things. It's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, y'all do too. Anyway, sorry about that. That's just how I, that's how I, that's how I feel going in. Both of the movies were good. You know, what I mean, outside the my 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 uh, gripes with the second one, first one's good. Um, but now this new movie's out with my boy Kenshi. Yo, Kenshi's so okay. So for the structure of the video, I was thinking of just doing the inch the the intro part, which I'm doing now. And then the reaction part, and then kind of like a breakdown going through the trailer once again just to pick up some cool things, and then my conclusion. So, yeah, more coming lenses, Snow Blind Official Trader, let's go! Once upon a time, you all lived together. Then the wars came. Oh, the art style's way different. And you ran off into your little Fair tour, okay. Cabal? What? Now you're scared for your life. Who? All you have to do is pledge your loyalty. Kano, is that? Kneel before King what? Kano. Yeah. What in the world is this? Oh. Is that old Sub Zero? Kenshi Takahashi want to be the greatest fighter to ever exist. I will teach you to use your senses, to live, not to die, to be the best warrior. Take your stance. Oh, let's protect Earthrealm and end this right now. This is my fight. The storm is coming. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow. Oh, is that Trevor? Oh, it's Trevor. Do you want to challenge? Good. Shanks on it. Is that Kira? I think that's Kira. Let's see. Oh. Against those with power, no one stands a chance. <laughs> you know that. Here is it getting a little bit nippy out here. He's here. And there is nothing Dang. you can do to stop him. Oh, what do you do like an ice spirit bomb? <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, I see. I see. Interesting. Ah. Okay, okay. Overall, honestly, like it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting. It seems like an Else World story. I don't, I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm crazy, but it feels like an Else World story. Cause you got let, let's let's go let's let's go through this real quick. Hold on. Oh. Upon a time. Okay, okay from, I don't know if it's me. It's probably just me, but this shot right here, I'm getting like weird, like Avatar, Last Embedder, like, like it reminds me of that kind of thing with, with the crazy backgrounds and like the way it just opens. Anyways, that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, the art style's way different. It's crazy. Look, look, yo, yo. Okay, hold on. The, for those of y'all who watch Avatar Korra, doesn't this remind me of like the one episode where they, we, 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 we watched like the first, we learned about the first Avatar? I don't know, it feels like that, the, the style reminds me of like Avatar last, the Avatar Korra stuff. Veritor, okay. Then I, I, I like this, we get some love to like the other characters we've never seen anything. I like this, this is good, this is a nice, this is nice. Ball looking way different. Like this is so weird. Like the, this whole, cause, cause correct me if I'm wrong, but Cabal, Kano, um, uh, 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 
I think Kira, Jarek, and I think Cobra as well are all Black Dragon. Am I wrong? I think it's all the, the all the Black Dragon like clan. And then you have Movado, Suhao, and and I guess you count Dagon. Uh, those guys are Red Dragon. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting another Red Dragon. Let me know in the comment section if there's another Red Dragon member. I'm forgetting because I know it's Dagon is Red Dragon, Movado, and Suhao. But just but this looks like a black dragon story, obviously. That that's gotta be Kira. That's gotta be Kira. Like, but like way re re redesigned to the T. Um, but yeah, let's see. Oh, one thing I noticed too, this doesn't seem as violent. They toned down the violence, it looks like. You know what I mean? We're not seeing any crazy x-ray moves like he did in the last two movies which is interesting this 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 whole movie feels like it's going in a completely different direction this shot of Kenshi looks sick he right because they mentioned him they mentioned how he's like a cocky like you know overconfident like fighter guy from uh, uh the Deadly Alliance games i've been mentioning that in like one of his bios so you, you, get, you get that feel already but yeah okay that's, sorry, that's shank's son i like, and i'm struggling to figure out what time this is taking this has to be like before um like, is this its own story, or is, it, is this taking place before Scorpion's Revenge? I, you know what I mean? I'm trying to figure it out. And Scorpion, Kano was like, full cyborg. What is happening? What is going on? King Kano. Yeah, that's, and I don't know who this is. Yo, if that's Cobra, <laughs> if that's Cobra, that'd be hilarious. Cobra, but yeah, because Cobra's Black Dragon. That That's, that's a, because <laughs> in the Deception, he looks like Ken from Street Fighter. But here, he looks like, I don't know, he looks like less that, less that. The ball is completely different. Kira, yeah, this is interesting. It's like Earthworm's overrun by these barbarians, you know. You got Shang Tsung's leading the crowd, and then uh, Kenshi. That the that old story. If y'all if y'all play Deadly Lines, this is literally from like that loading screen where he's just like this, and the things coming out. It's all oh, my eyes. This is literally that. And Sub Zero's like, yo, you know what this reminds me of, yo? Yo, it's no, it's no, it, yo, it's 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 literally this. Literally looks like this. I'm getting like Batman Beyond feels right now. Old man Sub Zero, young Ken Shi, old man Batman, young Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond. You know, future uh, uh save uh, future hero of like where they are. You know what I mean? Like, I'm getting I'm getting this old like. Batman Beyond type feels right now. This is crazy. The more I look, about, look the more I look at it, the more I feel, I feel about it. Like Sub Zero, super old. Like I don't get why. I, I wonder why he's so old here. Shouldn't he be like younger? That's why I feel like this is a this definitely gotta be an Elseworld story, like a, its own thing, its complete own thing. This is my fight. Yeah, none, the violence is toned down. Yo, Sub Zero looking, yo, kicks and no word of him. Oh. Yeah. Tremor. Tremor doing his thing, man. Tremor, yeah, Tremor looks great. Tremor looks sick, man. Let's let's give let's give all the love to these like C tier characters. And I, I mean, I see I say C tier characters in like a sense that we never see them in any. <laughs> we never see them. We <laughs> getting you see it said C tier. We never see them. Y'all see them? Anyways, we, we never see them in anything. So it's like nice to give them some you know spotlight, you know. Nice. Yeah, this is. Oh, that's a shot that that might have some stuff. Hold on. Oh, not really. Okay, got like some shit hanging out. Some dudes. I don't know what he's doing there. I like, can't see. Just looks job since. Like, yo, what's up? You want the challenge? Good. Damn, Kenji looks sick, bro. I love yo. Kenji's one of my favorite characters from Mortal Kombat, and to see him get all this love is awesome. Good. Shanks is younger now. Like, what? That's cute. That has to be cute. Oh, okay. Like the animation looks nice. Spin that blade, sick. Got a blue lightsaber now. Oh wait! How did I know? Oh! Oh my gosh! Yo! Yo! Okay, see, I knew I would notice something. I knew I would notice. <laughs> I knew I would know. Yo! This dude was right in my face. I didn't even see him. Aaron Black's right there. Yo! Aaron Black, I see you. Cause they, cause they, they blur him out, so you don't even look. You're not. You're focusing on Kano, and and hold on, guess who else I just spotted? That's right. They brought drama in the movie. They brought drama in the movie, y'all. What? <laughs> what? 
they put I'm, I'm, I'm actually really hyped about that. Y'all, y'all think I'm crazy. I can't believe they put drama in the movie. First, you see Natara. Why am I looking that way? First, you see it's so weird not to look at the camera. First of all, we see Natara in the Scorpions movie. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Who we see in the? Well, we saw a bunch of people in the other ones in the tournament, so that doesn't really count. But we see Natara and we see like we see all these old Deadly Lions characters showing back up. And okay, what what blew my mind in the uh, 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 Battle of the Rams movie, movie is that we saw Lee May. I'm like, yo, Lee May's in this movie? That's cool. They bring back all the Deadly Lions characters slowly but surely. This is like a Deadly Lions like like giving love to the Deadly Lions characters, man. This is so sick. But Drama's right there. Look, he's right there. What? Drummond? Yeah, I used to use that character all the time in Deadly Lights. Is that- oh. See, it's not like going through it again just to see if I notice anything. But yeah, you got the- the fair toy. Yeah, okay. Like, where are we in the timeline? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It feels like it's like, really back in the day, but we see like, this looks like a cityscape. I don't know. Uh, see, we're in the city now. So I'm guessing Kano and them raided a village that Kenshi grew up in. Let me see if I can figure out the story. So we start off with Kenshi like in his in his in his village, his hometown village place, and then Kano and the boys show up and raid the village, and then and then we find out that Kano's more of a menace because Shang Tsung's with him, and like you know now Kenshi's like, oh man, I gotta figure out a way to beat these guys, and he runs into Sub Zero, and he Sub Zero decides to train him, or maybe Sub Zero saves Kenshi from like defeat at the hands of like Ferret or something, and then decides to get trained. But I'm trying to figure out how the sword tomb thing. Messed up eyes. Maybe like maybe like Shang Tsung like maybe kills one of his people or something, and Kenshi goes to chase him, and then fa fa he, he finds that tomb with his souls and busts bust his eyes up and stuff. Okay, maybe I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out as I go. Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm like, are those zombies? They're zombies. And even <laughs> the violence is very subtle. It's in the background. Like you see this dude like throwing someone's intestines right there. Uh, that dude. Oh, is that the Lin Kuei? Oh, it's the Lin Kuei. Oh snap! The li the, li the link plays getting busted up by these like roided out zombies. Okay. Stop. Wow. Okay. All right. For my conclusion parts, where I just wrap things up and talk about my overall thoughts real quick. Um, I thought I thought of putting having the De De MK Deadly Alliance uh, end credit scene after you beat arcade mode. I want to have that playing in the background because. You know, you see Kenshi doing his martial arts kata thing, and I thought it would be a nice, like, I don't know, I thought it would be a nice taste, because this is the game he started in, right? This is the, Mokoma Deadly Alliance is where Kenshi, the main character of the Snowblind movie, you know, he, that's his, that's his debut game. That's where he started off, and, from, and as, as we're talking about debut games, and as I'm talking about this, as I'm on the subject, I love how... Uh, Never Realm Studios knows that Ken the, or, or Midway back in the day they've been knowing that Kenshi is a good character people love him he's a he's a fan favorite because this man started from he, he managed to he, he's the one that he's the one that got through he's the one that made it out he made it out the what people would say the dark not dark but the the, the not so good era of Mokuma games to Mokuma 4 to Deception those three games Mokuma 4, Dead Alliance, and Deception. People will say those aren't the, are or like the crappier Mokuma games. Well, Kenshi managed to get up out of all of that mess because he came back in Mokuma Deception. He came back in uh, um, Mokuma Armageddon, but obviously because everyone came back. And then he came back in Mokuma 9. Then he came back in MK10. All of them except for MK11. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, Kenshi. Kenshi came out, came, pulled, you know, he 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 came back. He's like Quan Chi. Him and Quan Chi were the only ones that came back up until uh, MK11. But um, but yeah, yeah, was Quan Chi? Yeah, Quan Chi's like X too. And MK11. But yeah, him and Quan Chi were the only ones that made it out pretty much consistently. I might be forgetting about someone else, but maybe forget forgetting about someone else. But yeah, Kenshi. It's so nice to see Kenshi, you know, getting this love. You know, has his own movie. It's just him and Sub Zero. No word of Scorpion or anybody else, which is shocking to me. Maybe we might get a clip of him at some point. I don't know, maybe, but like, there's no word of Scorpion anywhere. And Scorpion's one of my favorite characters, don't get me wrong. It goes Scorpion, Johnny Cage, and Ray. Those are my top three in the Kenshi. But like, you know, it's so interesting to see. What I, I'm very interested. I'm, I'm very interested. I can't get my words right for some reason. But it's very interesting to see uh, 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 where they'll take this movie. 
Anyways, um, yeah, I'm very happy to see the the, the, the the movie looks great. The trailer looks great. I can't wait to see this movie. You know, maybe it won't be as plot cluttered as the last movie was. But yeah, I'm 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 very excited for this movie to see my boy Kenshi in this. We get to learn about his origin and everything like that. So an old man Sub Zero. <laughs> But yeah, no, it looks great, man. It's just so good to see that now Kenshi got through all the games. He's got his own movie centered on him. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be sick. This is a, this is a, I feel like this is gonna be like a new thing. Like not, they might do, they might be doing like, okay, this is like a, a Kenshi spotlight movie. I feel like maybe the next movie they make after Snowblind, they might take another popular character maybe from like the older games, like Dead Alliance and Deception, and like tag them along with like. A fan favorite like Scorpion or Sub Zero, or maybe even Johnny Cage or Raiden, and then give them a movie. You know what I mean? Like how they do with Kenshi. They they took Kenshi, who's like a character that came out of the 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 older games, older PS2 games, and then tag him along with a fan favorite like Sub Zero, and boom, movie right there. Throw throw some villains in the next Shang Tsung. Boom, you got a movie. You know what I mean? But those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know what y'all thought of this in the comment section. Uh, and thank y'all so much for sticking with me out, sticking with me to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. That was really, I really appreciate it, and uh, I, that would mean the world to me. But like I always say, stay safe and peace. I'm out.